it was owned and maintained by the Oklahoma Department of Transportation, ODOT. While the crosstown designed to withstand about 76,000 vehicles a day, it was used by nearly 120,000 vehicles a day by 2010. The crosstown was completed in the 1960s using an engineering process commonly termed as fracture critical, a process that has not been used since the 1970s because it does not provide redundancies. According to Brian Windsor, an ODET structural engineer, without redundant support, the failure of a single beam creates the risk of total collapse of that section of bridge. Other safety problems of the previous crosstown include falling chunks of concrete and a lack of breakdown lanes.